Hey, this is Anthony with Redzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our 2013 Motorcycle Helmet Buying Guide at Revzilla.com. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through two groups of helmets. The first that you see in front of me is going to be, in my opinion, the best of what's new for 2013. The second group of helmets that we're gonna to get to really, really quickly is going to be what I call the perennial favorites, which in each category and a lot of price points, you're gonna find a dual sport, a touring, a sport bike, a hardcore race helmet that are gonna be the best of what I consider in their category. Remember, this is part of our 2013 guide series at revzilla.com slash guides. I have a detailed breakdown video on every helmet on the table that I'm gonna show you today. And you can also click to shop this entire collection right here or below the video on our YouTube channel when you're ready to start looking at the product on RevZilla.com. So first up is going to be my Shoei GT Air, new for this year, standing on the shoulders of a lot of the aerodynamic research they've done with the 1100, with the X12. This is now a multi-purpose, really sport-oriented helmet with some touring functionality. Notice the drop-down sun visor, new aerodynamic profile. It's going to vent better. Intermediate oval head shape coming in around that $500 mark. So it's super premium from Shoei, but again, also with a pin lock lens in the box. Graphics as well as solid colors available. This helmet has made a big splash in 2013. We're really excited to really road test it in a much more hardcore fashion. To the left, you're going to see the other polarizing helmet of 2013. This is called the Bell Rogue. Very, very distinct in its design from Bell. I'm gonna call it a half helmet. Really has a more three-quarter line to it. Removable muzzle in the front. V-twin's -twin, gone crazy. The naked bike market's going crazy. We're even hearing for a boost of guys that wanna get it in a chromed out version. Comes in gunmetal, comes in black. This is completely removable. Uses a neodymium magnet called the Fidlock system that allows you to remove it. This kinda of takes the place of those guys that are gonna wear a bandana a lot of times, especially on the west coast. Also check out the Mag9 Cena from Bell, which has the integrated Bluetooth unit, another honorable mention new helmet from Bell for this year. This is going to be more of a neutral oval head shape on the Bell, and it's going to come in sub $300. Keep in mind too, love to hear your gut reaction on this first collection here on the table. Subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, our YouTube channel. Now moving over to my right, the first time we've seen emergency cheek pads on a sub $200 helmet. This is the XO410 from Scorpion, coming in right around that $160 mark to start. Solids and graphics available. My opinion, Snell 2010, it's going to be a lighter weight polycarb. They've completely gutted and redesigned this helmet. Like I did say, it does have emergency cheek pad removals, removal system. A lot of new to it, but sub $200 in a very crowded category. This is one of the standouts. In my opinion, it's going to go kind of heads up with something like a Shark S700 for this year moving forward. Going down the line, the first time we're ever seeing a carbon fiber modular. And by the way, this is going to be an, a more neutral round shape. Carbon fiber modular with a photochromic shield stock in the box, as well as a pin lock system. This is the Laser Monaco Carbon from Belgium. It has a sister helmet called the Laser um, Carbon Kestrel that's available at RevZilla.com as well for sub $400. Extremely lightweight, the lightest modular we've ever seen, and it comes stock with that Lumino face shield. That's gonna be an intermediate oval head shape, a lot of bang for the buck for the touring crowd at around the $500 mark. And then sliding all the way back to my left, its competitor here, we see the super top of the food chain modular. This is the Schubert C3 Pro. They changed over 25 different things. They made the fit more comfortable for more riders, still intermediate oval head shape, more air. They've added a spoiler on the back, so it's gonna be better from an aerodynamic standpoint. But the big story is that it's lighter, and they've also managed to shave two decibels off it. So now this is the new juggernaut as far as quiet modular helmets go on the market. So moving into our staples, you see five helmets in front of me. If they suit your style and they suit your budget, there is not a single loser on this table. And this is based off of previous year's history. These are the staples, these are the highest rated in customer satisfaction, and these are the helmets that we wear at RevZilla.com. I have videos on all of these, watch their breakdowns. Let's start with Goldilocks. Why Goldilocks for the RF 1100 from Shoei? Because this is the helmet that's just right. It does everything. You can wear it in any riding scenario, track day, sport touring, touring, hardcore multi-season touring. Other than a DS helmet or a modular, it's really gonna stand the test of time. Lots of graphics, intermediate oval head shape, sub $400. I always call the RF1100 the gateway drug because a lot of times you have guys that spend one to 200 bucks on their first helmet and they're really looking to get to that next level. This is the, the sub $400 next level that everybody picks hands down from Shoei, the RF1100. Yes, that was an endorsement from me. Moving to the middle, the top selling modular of 2012. Showy Neotech, new from last year, standing on all of the DNA of the Multitech internal drop down sun visor. As you can see, this is the Borealis graphic. It also comes in all the classic solid colors for you touring guys. They've done a nice job. And remember, when I say modular, it means that it comes up very clean in its design, increased airflow. Again, intermediate oval head shape. This is going to be sub $600 in that five and a half range from Showy. Continuing to my left, this is the Icon Armada. 
This comes in at the sub $200 sport bike track day option. Now I showed you the 410 in our first segment of this video. This helmet, people don't realize, they think, oh, Icon, it's gonna have such loud graphic. This silver is beautiful. This has a race fit, it's ECE 2205 rated, and it vents extremely well. It's also the longest oval head shape in this sub $200 category. Icon Armada, you need to check it out. I'm gonna give a quick shout out to the K4 Evo from AGV, which comes in some of those Rossi graphics as well. We see a lot of guys that want more Italian inspiration go for that helmet in this sub $200 category. Moving to the right side of the table, now I have our race helmet. You're saying, oh, it's not an Arai Corsair 5. You're right, we all know the Arai Corsair 5. We know what it does, we know how great it is, it's rock solid. I wanna give you another option. This is the $600 Shark Race R Pro that Randy Dupunier has been crashing in for years in MotoGP. They changed the liner for this year in the interior head, head shape. It's now true intermediate oval head shape. It has a very aggressive line. It's very much a super premium helmet. This is one of the graphic options, three millimeter on the face shield. There's a lot that Shark does really, really well. And if I turn it upside down, you're gonna see how encompassing and quiet this sucker is. We really like it. We've been riding in it. It's very, very much a nice raise of the bar from Shark helmets. And again, like I said, remember, you can subscribe to us on RevZilla TV. I'd love to hear your comments, but again, we're gonna ship and exchange all these bad boys for free. Moving down to my left, our last helmet on the table. This is the old granddad in your dual sport category. This is the helmet to have if you can have only one and you ride a GS or KTM 990 Adventure. This is the Arai XD4, Snell rated, released last year. It's a stud. We know the Shoei Hornet DS. We know some of the more entry level DS helmets in the market. The only other helmet that I like as much as this helmet, but really they're apples and oranges from a functional spec is something like the AGV AX8 DS Evo helmet, which is gonna be AXE's really, or AGV's really aggressive helmet. But here in the Arai, very tunable on the inside. This is the orange graphic. This is actually like a double extra large. That's why it looks so big on the table. But again, quiet, very functional, will take goggles. I do a lot of long distance multi-season adventure touring and I will take my XD4 wherever I go. So keep in mind, this is part of our larger gear guide series for jackets, for gloves, for boots. We release them all spring at RevZilla.com. Click right here to shop this entire collection as part of our gear guides. You can shop it at RevZilla.com slash guides. Remember I said we ship for free and exchange for free. Don't worry about buying on the internet. And you can always talk to a gear geek if you wanna hear more of the details. If you haven't watched the video already, do so. 877-792-9455 or see us at RevZilla.com. Thanks for watching our 2013 Best of Motorcycle Helmet Buying Guide from RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.